In this SketchUp video, I want to talk about using the Follow Me tool to create things like crown molding and baseboard trim and that type of thing. So I'm working on the house model that we've been using so far. And I'm actually going over to the outside corner to do some of my drawing right now. So first thing you need to remember is that we have this house grouped. And by that I mean that the walls and floor are a group. And we've done that so that we can take our grouped windows and doors and easily insert them into the holes that we've cut into the wall groups um, so that things don't stick. Remember, SketchUp has a tendency to make things stick. Once we have that all going, we can safely you know, draw things on the outside and copy them and, and we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, and the reason I'm going to snap to this corner to draw is just that sometimes you can end up floating off too far in the distance, so it's, it's nice to have an anchor point. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, give myself a profile for crown molding. Uh, I'm going to make something sort of big and tacky uh, just so we can get the point. What I'm going to do is grab my line tool. I'm just going to click to the corner of this group. I have not activated the group. I'm just using it to snap to. And I'm going to come out and, you know, I'm going to make this kind of big. So I'm going to come out six inches. And then I'm going to come straight down. So remember, you use your axis lines there to make sure you're going straight at 90 degree angles. And I might do one inch, um, come in two perhaps. And this is just, you know, me making something up. Uh, maybe I'll come down four, in two, down three, in one down one and ending it there and there. Okay, so I've just made a kind of a stair step looking profile here. Now for the purposes of what we're doing, that would be fine. Uh, but I could use, you know, arcs or something just to make this a little bit more interesting. So I could, you know, grab my arc tool perhaps and for example, come in after the fact, click on maybe these two points and I could come in and, you know, add a slight curve there I could uh, maybe curve this here for example and you'll see I'm getting these you know overlapping lines which you you know might not find particularly desirable but if I come in with my eraser you'll see that we're able to erase away the extra lines and then you're left with um, you know something that has that nice curve to it Okay, so this is the profile that we need for the Follow Me tool to do our crown molding. Okay, so we'll start there. So what I need to do is figure out where I want to put this molding. So if I look at my building, I might determine that I'd like to put this crown molding in this center area, for example. I very well might want to put it in every room, but that's where we'll start. Well, to use the Follow Me tool properly, you need to have lines to follow around. Um, if we actually get into the group to try to do it that way, that'll get a little messy, and then that, that molding will be part of the walls, and that can cause some trouble. So actually what we're going to do is trace the perimeter of the area we're interested in um, and work on it that way. So I'm going to grab my line. And I just need to pay attention to where I start. Okay, so I might start at this corner, and I'm just going to trace my way around the space. So just make sure you're staying on all of those top edges of the wall. And I'll stop here where I started. And it will put in um, a surface there that's just kind of you know what SketchUp automatically does. So I can just click on that and delete it. Those edges will all still be there, but I don't actually want that face. Uh, you know, if I was wanting to simultaneously put a ceiling in the room, that would have been a good time to do it, but it's not what I want to do right now. So now I'm going to come over and I'm going to triple click on my profile hit move and because I might want to use this profile again I'm actually going to hit control and make a copy of it so I'll leave that hanging out there for now eventually I'd want to go and delete it 
and I'll snap it to one of the corners in the space. Right there works. And the reason I picked that is because it's oriented the way I want. You know, if I put it on the other side, it would be facing the wrong way. So once we have it in place and all the line work done, we can use the Follow Me tool. We can select that face. And then we can let that start flowing around the room. Okay, so sometimes it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to back up there for a second to get it to follow where you want it to go. Okay, there we go. And you sort of have to glide along all of the edges you're interested in. There we go. There we go. Almost there. All right, and when you get to the corner where you started, you'll see that SketchUp does a nice job of cleaning up that corner. So now that we've done that, we can see that we created some very nice molding up at the top of our room. It looks pretty good. So we could go into each room and trace around the molding around the top of the ceiling. The same thing will be true for doing um, something on the baseboard. Okay, so we could start out on the outside of the building, draw something down at the bottom of the wall here, and then follow the same process and have nice baseboards going around the bottom. And that's really all there is to it.